Hi, I'm Andy Graham, Certified Fastener Specialist with BoltsandNuts.com, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to properly install blind pop rivets. To preface this tutorial, this video will not show you how to measure or pick out a rivet for your application. This is simply just the installation. Let's get into it. Blind rivets are permanent mechanical fasteners and are generally used in applications where there is limited to no access on the rear side, or sometimes called the blind side. They are commonly used to fasten sheet metal or plastic, but can also be used for things like wood or leather. They consist of two parts, the first being the rivet body, which is sometimes referred to as the shell or the hat, and then the second part is known as the mandrel or sometimes called the stem. Let's get to installing some dome head blind rivets. The first step in installing blind pop rivets is to make sure you have proper safety equipment. You're going to need protective gloves and protective eyewear for we're going to be drilling sheet metal in order to make a hole for these rivets. It's important to protect yourself that way you don't get injured. Here I have some 16 gauge sheet metal. First we're going to need to drill a hole to install the rivet. The next step here is to take a rivet and we're going to take the rivet body or the hat and put it in the hole here and make sure it's a nice and snug fit. It's important that the fit is snug and it takes some pressure to push it in because if the hole is too big, the rivet might not grab and could potentially fail. Next, we're going to load the rivet into the rivet gun. I'm going to be using our high quality preferred rivet gun. If you do not have one, this exact tool can be found on our website for sale from the link below in the description. This one is inexpensive, has never let me down, and comes with a lifetime warranty through preferred. Now we're going to pull it out, and to load it up, we're going to take the mandrel end here, which is the stem, and we're going to push it all the way into the hole in the rivet gun. Once it's in, it's properly seated in there, we're then going to take the rivet body and we're going to stick it right back in that hole. Once it's in the hole, we can pull the lever which will expand the rivet and cut off the mandrel. That rivet is now properly installed in the sheet metal. You will also then have this mandrel left over which gets cut out. This is now scrapped. Let's run another one here for comparison. Again, first we're going to drill our hole. Once our hole is drilled, we're just going to check to make sure the hole size is still good. Nice snug fit. We're going to load the stem all the way into our preferred rivet gun here. Want to make sure it's all the way in, that's very important. And we are going to again just push that rivet body all the way in, pull this lever, and bam, break off the mandrel, and we have a perfectly installed blind rivet. I hope you found this short tutorial to be helpful and informative. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us directly or post them in the comments below. We at BoltsandNuts.com stock all different types of rivets, which can be found at our web store from the link below in the description. Please like and subscribe for more Fastener content. Thank you for watching.